Nagara Shiva Sagidura Bhakta Vrindari Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We continue reading from Srimad Bhagavatam. We are on Canto 4, Chapter 10, Text 10. Te api chamum amrishyantaha. Te api chamum amrishyantaha. Padas parsham evoragaha. Padas parsham evoragaha. Sharer avidyan yugapad. Dvigunam prachi kirshavaha. Dvigunam prachi kirshavaha. Translation by Stephen Grace, Isi Bhakti Vedanta Samishla Prabhupada. Just like serpents who cannot tolerate being trampled upon by anyone's feet, the yakshas being intolerant of the wonderful prowess of Dhruv Maharaj through twice as many arrows, six from each of their soldiers, and thus they very valiantly exhibited their prowess. So Dhruv Maharaj was throwing three arrows at a time from his bow. Now the Yakshas, they are, each of them is throwing six. Tata Pariga Nishtrim Shai Shakti Rishti Bir Bushundi Bhis Shakti Rishti Bushundi Bhis Chitra Vage Share Rapi Abhya Varshan Prakupitaha Abhya Varshan Prakupitaha Saratham Sahasaratham Saratham Sahasaratham Tat Pratikartam Itchantas Tat Pratikartam Ayutanam Trayodasha Ayutanam Trayodasha The Yaksha soldiers were 130,000 strong, all greatly angry and all desiring to defeat the wonderful activities of Dhru Maharaj. With full strength, they showered upon Maharaj Dhru along with his chariot and charioteer, various types of feathered arrows, Parigas, iron bludgeons, nishtrimshas, swords, prasashulas, tridents, parashvadas, lances, shaktis, pikes, rishtis, spears, and bushundi weapons. Or oh, one against 130,000 of them. Aturna padi satada. Atona padi satada Shastra varshena bhurina Shastra varshena bhurina Na eva drishya tachana Na eva Asarena yatagari he Dhru Maharaj was completely covered by an incessant shower of weapons, just as a mountain is covered by incessant rainfall. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur points out in this connection that although Dhru Maharaj was covered by the incessant arrows of the enemy, this does not mean that he succumbed in the battle. The example of a mountain peak being covered by incessant rain is just suitable. For when a mountain is covered by incessant rain, all dirty things are washed from the body of the mountain. Similarly, the incessant shower of arrows from the enemy gave Dhruv Maharaj new vigor to defeat them. In other words, whatever incompetency he might have had was washed away. So he's getting more energized. He's 
you know, when some trouble comes to us, then we put on our all our batteries, we get charged to face, face the situation. Siddhanam divipashyatam. Siddhanam divipashyatam. Hato yam manava suryo. Hato ayam manava suryo. Magna punya janar vatnave. Magna punya janar nave. All the Siddhas from the higher planetary systems were observing the fight from the sky. And when they saw that Dhruv Maharaj had been covered by the incessant arrows of the enemy, they rode tumultuously. The grandson of Manu, Dhruva, is now lost. They cried that Dhruv Maharaj was just like the sun and that now he had set within the ocean of the Yakshas. In this verse, the word Manav is very significant. Generally, this word is used to mean human being. Dhru Maharaj is also described here as Manu. Not only is Dhru Maharaj a descendant of Manu, but all human society descends from Manu. So Manu is the father of mankind. Manu, Manav. According to Vedic civilization, Manu is the lawgiver. Even today, Hindus in India follow the laws given by Manu. So this laws of Manu is given in Manu Samhita, how we are supposed to live our life. He's given us the guidelines. You know, like how we buy a gadget, then we get the manual with it, how to properly use the gadget. So Manu has given us the guidelines of how to live properly in this world, in the human body. Therefore, everyone in human society is a Manu or descendant from Manu. But Dhruv Maharaj is a distinguished Manava because he is a great devotee. The denizens of the planet Siddhalok, where the residents can fly in the sky without airplanes, were anxious over Dhruv Maharaj's welfare in the battlefield. Easy, no? Don't need to make bookings. No need to see oh, what are the COVID restrictions. They can just go anywhere. Flying in the sky without airplanes. Now they are anxious over Dhruv Maharaj's welfare. He's a pure devotee of the Lord, so he's dear to everyone. So the Siddhas yeah, in the higher planets, they also worry what's going to happen to him. Shla Rupa Goswami says, therefore, that not only is a devotee well protected by the Supreme Lord, but all the demigods and even ordinary men are anxious for his security and safety. So demigods, everyone wants to make sure the devotee is all right. And the Lord, of course, personally. The Lord personally, he says in Bhagavad Gita also, that I personally, I preserve what they, they have and I carry what they lack. He said he carries it. He's personally protecting the devotee. Krishna is saying, you just become my devotee and I will protect you from all sinful reactions. So Krishna's promise is there. The comparison given here that Dhruv Maharaj appeared to merge in the ocean of the Yakshas is also significant. When the sun sets on the horizon, it appears that the sun drowns in the ocean, but factually the sun has no difficulty. Similarly, although Dhruva appeared to drown in the ocean of the Yakshas, he had no difficulty. As the sun rises again in due course at the end of night, so Dhruv Maharaj, although he might have been in difficulty, because after all, it was a fight, and in any fighting activities, there are reverses. That does not mean that he was defeated. So momentarily, it appeared that he was defeated. But a very nice analogy is given that just as the sun is setting, that doesn't mean the sun disappears. It's just setting from our eyes for some time. So Dhruv Maharaj also appeared to have difficulty for some time, but he's going to come back. Nadatsu yatu dhani shu. Nadatsu yatu dhani shu. Jaya kashib atomrite. 
The Yakshas, being temporarily victorious, exclaimed that they had conquered Dhruv Maharaj. But in the meantime, Dhruv chariot, Dhruva's chariot suddenly appeared, just as the sun suddenly appears from within foggy mist. Here, Dhruv Maharaj is compared to the sun and the great assembly of the Yakshas to foggy mist. Fog is insignificant in comparison with the sun. Although the sun is sometimes seen to be covered by fog, in fact, the sun cannot be covered by anything. Our eyes may be covered by a cloud, but the sun is never covered. By this comparison to the sun, the greatness of Dhruv Maharaj in all circumstances is confirmed. So yeah, like today, such a cloudy day, we can't see the sun. But it doesn't mean the sun is being covered by the clouds. The, sun, the clouds are covering our vision of the sun. Clouds are too small to cover the full sun. Similarly here, it's a nice comparison is made to show the greatness of Dhruv Maharaj. Similar analogy is given for us to understand the position of Krishna and Maya and our position. Maya, she is like a cloud and she covers our vision of Krishna. She cannot cover Krishna. The cloud cannot cover the sun. But what the cloud can do is cover our vision of the sun. Similarly, Maya, she covers our vision of Krishna. So he is never covered by Maya. He is the controller of Maya. Devi hi aishama guna mai, mama maya, turatya, mai maya. He says it in Bhagavad Gita. Dhanur vish pur jayan divyam. गणानिकम Dhruv Maharaj's bow and arrows twanged and hissed, causing lamentation in the hearts of his enemies. He began to shoot incessant arrows, shattering all their different weapons, just as the blasting wind scatters the assembled clouds in the sky. Tasyate chapa nirmukta Tasyate chapa nirmukta Bitva Varmani Rakshasam. Bitva Varmani Rakshasam. Kayan Avi Vishu Stigma. Kayan Avi Vishu Stigma. Girin Ashanna Yoyatha. Girin Ashanna Yoyatha. The sharp arrows released from the bow of Dhruv Maharaj pierced the shields and bodies of the enemy like the thunderbolts released from the king of heaven, which dismantled the bodies of the mountains. So the sharp arrows of Dhruv Maharaj are compared to Indra's thunderbolt, Vajra. One question. Is yes. yak are the Yakshas demons? Yakshas are not demons, but they have uh, powers. Like Kuver, he's a yaksha, the treasurer of the demigods. Yeah. Okay. He's a yaksha. So they yes. have this mystic powers, you know. Okay. So they are not like, they are not. They are uh, not really the demons. Okay. But they, they have this powers. So this also they are fighting with Dhruvar for power. Means to get the kingdom. Because... One of the Yaksha killed Uttam, Dhruv's brother. So oh. Dhruv Maharaj has come and he wants to fight with them just so that they don't repeat it again. Okay. He's protecting his kingdom so that anyone goes to the forest shouldn't be killed by them. Mm -hmm. Yaksha. Okay. 
Yeah. So exactly, are they demonic? I I'm not sure, but they special. They for sure have powers, and I know Kuvair is a treasurer of the demigods. He's a yaksha, and he's a great devotee of Lord Shiva. Yeah. Okay. Sanchi di diya mana nam. Balay Sanchi di mana nam. Chirobis charu kundale. Chirobis charu kundale. Urubir hema tala bear. Urubis hema tala bear. Dorbir Valaya Valgubihe. Dorbir Valaya Valgubihe. Ara ke yura mukuter. Ara ke yura mukuter. Ushin Ushishnes. Ushishnes cha mahadane. Ushishnes cha mahadane. Astra tasta ranabhuvo. Rejur Vira Mano Haraha The great sage Maitreya continued, My dear Vidur, the heads of those who were cut to pieces by the arrows of Dhruv Maharaj were decorated very beautifully with earrings and turbans. The legs of their bodies were as beautiful as golden palm trees. The arms were decorated with golden bracelets and armlets, and on their heads there were very valuable helmets bedecked with gold. All these ornaments lying on that battlefield were very attractive and could bewilder the mind of a hero. It appears that in those days, soldiers used to go to the battlefield highly decorated with golden ornaments and with helmets and turbans, and when they were dead, the booty was taken by the enemy party. They're falling dead in battle with their many gold and ornamental dresses was certainly a lucrative opportunity for the heroes on the battlefield. Yeah, the, the soldiers also are wearing golden helmets and golden ornaments, you know, armlets and anklets. So there was so much opulence before. And then, of course, the soldiers who are dead and the party who wins, they can collect everything. Hatava <laughs> Mrigendra Vikridita Yutapa Eva Mrigendra Vikridita Yutapa Eva. The remaining Yakshas, who somehow or the other were not killed, had their limbs cut to pieces by the arrows of the great warrior Dhru Maharaj. Thus they began to flee just as elephants flee when defeated by a lion. So he's a pure devotee. But he's not saying, okay, my only duty is that I'm going to sit and chant. He's doing his duty as a king. But of course now, he's going to be coming to be pacified because he's gotten too angry. Apashyamana satatat Tadata yan yinam Apashyamana satata atata yinam Maha mride kanchana mana vota maha Maha mride kanchana mana vota maha Urim didrikshan apinavishadvisham Urim didrikshan apinavishadvisham Nama inam veda chikeshitam janaha. Nama inam veda chikeshitam janaha.
Dhruv Maharaj, the best of human beings, observed that in that great battlefield, not one of the opposing soldiers was left standing with proper weapons. He then desired to see the city of Alkapuri, but he thought to himself, no one knows the plans of the mystic Yakshas. So the, he's come to Alkapuri where the Yakshas stay. The Yakshas have a lot of mystical powers, you know, like magic tricks. Iti brumam, brumam chitra ratha swasarathim. Iti brumam chitra ratha swasarathim. Yata paresham pratiyoga shankitaha. Yata paresham pratiyoga shankitaha. Shushrava shabdam jaladeer iveritam. Shushrava shabdam jaladeer iveritam. Nabas vato dekshurajo navadrishyata. In the meantime, while Dhruv Maharaj, doubtful of his mystic enemies, was talking with his charioteer, they heard a tremendous sound as if the whole ocean were there. And they found that from the sky, a great dust storm was coming over them from all directions. So Dhruv Maharaj has been thinking, oh, should I go into Alkapuri? What should I do? His charioteer is there. And then there is great dust storm. Shane Chadita Chaditam Vyoma. Chaditam Vyoma. Ganani kena sarvataha. Ganani kena sarvataha. Vispurat tadita dikshu. Vispurat tadita dikshu. Rasayats sta nayit nuna. Rasayats sta nayit nuna. Within a moment, the whole sky was overcast with dense clouds and severe thundering was heard. There was glittering electric lightning and severe rainfall. Bhavrishu Rudhi Rogha Shrek Bhavrishu Rudhi Rogha Shrek Mutra Medha Saha Nipetur Gaganad Asya Nipetur Gaganad Asya Kabandhani Agrato Anagaha Kabandhani Agrato Anagaha My dear faultless Vidur, in that rainfall there was blood, mucus, pus, stool, urine and marrow falling heavily before Dhruv Maharaj, and there were trunks of bodies falling from the sky. Oh my God, imagine all these things raining instead of the rainwater that we are used to. Tatha ke drishyata girir. Nipetu sarvato tisham. Nipetu sarvato tisham. Yada Pariga Nistrimsha Tada Parika Nistrimsha Musala Sashma Varshinaha Musala Sashma Varshinaha Next, a great mountain was visible in the sky, and from all directions, hailstones fell along with lances, clubs, swords, iron bludgeons, and great pieces of stone. So this is all the powers of the yakshas. They're making all these things fall from the sky. Ahayo ashani nishvasa. Ahayo ashnani nishvasa. Vamanto agnim rushakshibihi. Vamanto agnim rushakshibihi. Abhyadhavan gajamata. 
महाराज ऑल्सो सो मेनी बिग सर्पन्स विद एंग्री आईज वॉमिटिंग फोर्थ फायर एंड कमिंग टू डिवार along with groups of mad elephants lions and tigers that's really something what he's going through and he's still small no dhru maharaj no no now he's become now big he's not married he remember oh. he got married to ila oh. one of his wives was ila and then another of his oh. wife okay got the name now he's like the emperor of the world okay mm -hmm. yeah but still go seeing so many yeah. things and he's alone one person right mm -hmm. only his charioteer is there with him something no mm -hmm. what would we do if we were in that position probably run away i don't know <laughs> so he'll stop here for today श्रीमद भागवतम की जय श्रीलपुर की जय गौर भक्त वृंद की जय हरे कृष्णा